Welcome, everybody. What is this session about? It's uh, something that I'm experimenting. And um, I know Sociocracy since three years now, studying it, and I met uh, Sociocracy for All uh, in, my, in my learning experience. And it was uh, one milestone for me, very, very important, because it gave me the opportunity here in Italy, where you don't have Sociocracy, to test it and, uh, and to use it online in the Sociocracy leadership training. And uh, that was very important for me. Then I started to, to, to experiment it in my life and uh, also doing some training and helping people implement it, not fully, just the text experiment. And uh, in uh, learning about the training, how, how can I, I can learn, I can teach, sorry, uh, I can teach uh, consent. Uh, I came up with an idea that I like it very much and that today I want to, to share with you. Um, so what my idea is, uh, not go very fast because I'm Italian speaking in English, sometimes I have problems, so I will, I will try to have a slow pace, even if it's not my pace. <laughs> uh, and I'll, uh, what I want to do, I want to present you what I'm doing. Uh, I, I'll take 15 minutes and then I will leave uh, room for uh, questions and uh, reaction about it. So for me, this is not only a way to present what I'm doing, but also to have feedback from you. So if you come up with ideas, if you come up with uh, anything that you would like to add, please do it. Uh, that's how uh, I leave this session. For me, it's really like a presenting you a proposal in some way, and I, and I love to, give, to have your feedback. Um, I want to know, just, just show me your thumbs like this, if uh, you are uh, training, uh, uh, if you are training or you are doing training in sociocracy. Erin, I can see your name, Barbara, more or less, and uh, Julian, okay, Aether, okay. Thank you very much. So I start to screen share. So this is what my question was, I, how can I teach consent in a funny and simple way? So how can I teach perhaps anything without doing theory too much? Uh, it's like in Italy, we have an expression in when you're cooking, kubi, it's like quanto basta, just enough. So you put salt, just enough. So just enough of theory, just enough of uh, practice, and why not using feedback since we are in sociocracy uh, to learn? So. What I'm doing this is, is uh, doing this cycle or a lot of time in a time of about two hours. So what I'm going to describe you is something that takes me two hours. So the first things I ask to the big group and uh, is a question just to start to dive in in the, in the, the topic. And the question is what I found functional and what I found dysfunctional in decision-making moments, I experience it. And I just give them, it can be in couple if it's a small group, or it can be in group of four or five people maximum. So this experience that is a, a, a little group uh, that can do very uh, short rounds or rounds in a good amount of time. And then when they finish this, I, in the big group, I just collect. So on the plus, you have what I found functional, and in the minus part, what I found dysfunctional. And I use these two colors. And I also use this moment to, to start framing some word for the people. So if somebody say, uh, for example, uh, when we have a common objective, when we know what we want to do, so I ask, so could aim work for you? So having a common aim or setting a common aim can, can, uh, can work for you? Yes. So I start to introduce word, keywords in, in sociocracy. And so I do with uh, uh, a lot of, uh, 
other words or keywords I want to start. So uh, if, if we are, uh, if we find an argument, so there are objections you are saying and so on. And this is the first framing of a different kind of languages we need to, to understand us, us better after or better in a shorter amount of time. Then when, uh, when we have done we have done this, and in this brainstorming, collecting, there are a lot of things coming out. And what I, what I realized that, and what I'm saying to the group is also, I realized in time that we know all the ingredients, all the steps to, to reach a good uh, decision ma making, where everybody's heard and we can come to a common uh, agreement. But we mess them up. And, and where I'm alone, where there is another people, I, another, I, I start a theater moment. That's come from a, a theater technique for a lot of year in theater, and uh, perhaps seen so many actors doing things. I, I integrate this in my teaching. Uh, please, Franz, can you unmute yourself because I have feedback of my of myself. Uh, no, I, no, I can't. I can't see my own picture, and I can't find my microphone to, to mute. Oh, here. thank you. So what I've done before I prepared on the sheet of A4, all the steps to decision making, and I start to pick them up, how they come up. So uh, like this one, I say, this is the first sheet I take, uh, I take, uh, I take out. For, for example, I start to say, okay, let's, uh, this, is, this was my proposal. The, is, it, is it okay for you? Oh, really? I don't like it very much, but okay, let's, let's work on it. It's a, it's a good, uh, perhaps it's not, so, it's not so bad. But somebody else pop up and say, hey, no, 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 really, I don't like it. I don't like it. This is a very awful proposal. Why, why we are working on this? And somebody else perhaps come out, hey, yes, wow, no, I like it. It's perfect for me. Uh, let's celebrate it. Let's go on. We, we all go with this one. Perhaps somebody else come pop out at the same moment and say, hey, but there is something that perhaps I don't understand. And so I go on and uh, it's like a little theater moment. Every time is different, but every time I see people that like this mess, we laugh a lot in this moment. And, uh, and they recognize every time that they found themselves in a situation similar or equal to what, what, what is coming out, like in an impro theater improvisation. Then, and this is also another moment where, what is the aim behind this is to give the keywords of all the step of decision making and what's behind all this. So playing with this, give more information to the people. And then I just ask them, so for you, what's the right uh, sequence if we want to have a good decision making moment? And so I, I let them, and I accept their, uh, their, their proposal, uh, their suggestion. So, and in a very short amount of time, they come up with the good, uh, no, not the food, a functional. What I like to do is to say it's like fun, a functional step-by-step, uh, step, uh, what are the functional steps to go to the to a decision moment. So first you have proposal, then you have clarification questions, then you have quick reactions. Then you can read the proposal one was more because perhaps yet yeah, it, it has changed it. Or you can give feedback if you want to stop there. Then you, uh, you ask for objection. Then you resolve objection. And then you celebrate the proposal you have reached altogether. And this, at this moment, they have clear all, all, the, all the step, and I say, okay, let's start practice. And we, we're going to start practice on the first part. So I ask them to, to everybody to, to, to form a group of four or five people in, uh, in so little, uh, little circles and uh, to work on these four, four first steps. So proposal, clarification question, quick reaction, and feedback. So I tell them, Let's everybody take five minutes of time, three, five minutes of time, and think about a proposal you want to do a, a group. And think the proposal like something you want to have feedback on it. So what I'm proposing you is like a social coaching. 
So you're gonna use the first steps of decision making to have feedback. So you're gonna do your proposal, you're gonna, all the people we have, you're gonna use rounds, so I start to introduce rounds with clarification questions, so everybody have the, the possibility to, have, to ask clarification questions because you want to know more about this proposal. You want first to understand it, and then you're gonna give your quick reaction. They can, uh, can be as simple as, yes, I like it, or I don't like it, or uh, perhaps if you can, uh, uh, um, talk with some with these people I know I can give you the the contact and you can have more or perhaps you can add this one or perhaps you can change this one and then you can go on and then the people and the person that have made the proposal will go will give you feedback so what what he liked it what he discovered what uh, what if it was op opening possibilities for you because what we are doing is opening possibilities and after I give them 20 minutes of time, more or less, and then I call them back in the big group and, and I just have to ask the big group. So what, uh, no, no, the first question I ask, it's always the same. Uh, did you manage to reach to the end? So proposal, clarification, question, quick reaction and feedback in 20 minutes. Sometimes it's no, and I say, why? Because you can, you can you, and mostly time because people talk too much. So, okay, next time, next, uh, next experiment, start, uh, go to the essence, not, don't talk too much. Uh, did you do rounds? And sometimes they say no because people don't uh, overlap in stuff. So please try rounds because we are used to pop up and to speak on each other and so on. So I start giving them this. And then they ask, it, what worked? And why for you? And so in, this is a moment of feedback where people, all the group learn from each other. So everybody say here what is working, what is not working, uh, what they can do better. At this moment, I give them, I give, the, uh, I give instruction, the theory, or the little, uh, what they need to go on. So the next uh, 20 minutes, they will go on together and they will evolve the proposal they worked before but again, they will do the proposal, clarification question, quick reaction. At this moment, there's no more feedback, but it's a feedback because you read the proposal once more because you want to add clarity. This is a step I, I it's not in the, let's say what we know, if you know the steps of uh, consent, there is not this, but I really recommend because after the three steps, the proposal can change and it's very important before going up to objection even if the proposal is the same, to read the proposal one more. Because when we go to objection, we want to be sure what is the proposal at this moment. And so, and then I say, you, you will ask for objection, how they will do it, you will solve objection and you will celebrate. And so they get 20 minutes more to test them. So same group, uh, they, they receive feedback, they receive a new instruction. So it's a step-by-step -step building on what comes, uh, what came uh, before. And again, 20 minutes, and then I, I, so I asked again to the, the big group, so did you manage to, uh, to go to the end? And the, normally they, they do it, even if it's more steps, because they learn to be more concise in speaking, they, uh, they work it on the proposal, uh, they work it on the proposal once, once more, because it's, it's not new. And, uh, and yes, it's just, uh, what want to say? Mm. What I see, what I observe in the people is that doing like this, just digging the just enough uh, theory that I will not say what it is, but what can be, because I think it also can be a cultural, in Italy something and uh, uh, in other people, in other country can be uh, different. But also this practice, so theory, practice, and then feedback, I can see that I don't have to speak too much. I don't have to give too much theory and people get a lot from themselves. They even, they even get uh, ideas. Uh, um, they come to, to the essence of what they are doing. Uh, and one thing that I really notice that the people get the ownership of the proposal. They get this, this 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 moment when through clarification question and quick reaction they get the ownership of the of the um, of the proposal and they are part of it 
and and also how that is very important for me at the end to show them that have you seen how many passages you have to reach a proposal that is can, can have the consent of everybody so you need all all these steps you need first perhaps to have a feedback moment where you collect ideas it can be done like this or in building a proposal the other steps uh, or in brainstorming it can be anything but, but then a group can work on it on side and then on the next meeting they come on a proposal they give have more feedback on it and then if we have the possibility we go to objection and we and we consent to it or perhaps we need more work but we need all this we cannot think that in one not all proposal can be worked at once and then it's good perhaps we need more and then I, if i have time but this is something that uh, uh, need to be it's adding a lot more on what already they they are getting i show them this that i translated in italian so it is various steps so i'm uh, this is a very, i really like this infographics coming from social Cassie for all and so that what this is what they have done so you have the first part of understanding uh, so the desired outcome is everyone receives and understand the input the tool are report a clarification she clarifying question round and uh, or you have also the two steps understand and explore so the desired outcome of explore is and reach the input and the tool are reaction round so it's building on one one step after the other and then you have the decision moment when you add more the add the move moment so the desired outcome is a decision and next steps what we are doing and the tool are fixed proposals that is objection and consent. Yeah. So how can we use all these steps? Uh, yeah. How rich all these steps are? That's what I discovered teaching in this way. So now I will stop because I'll, uh, I have seven minutes more or less. And I think in a I'll start the share, I'll stop the share. I think the infographic, you can find it in the SOFA website if you want, uh, or uh, looking for uh, a Medium article that uh, uh, Ted has wrote, uh, and is how, uh, how to keep a meeting short. It's one of the graphics that you can find in it. And uh, it will pop up in a Google search very quickly. So I want to ask if you have question, uh, perhaps the, the best ways to if you don't have any, uh, uh, if you have uh, no problem, is to type it in the chat. So I'll start to to answer it when uh, when as soon as I see them pop up. Yes, what I noticed that in doing this, while you are typing question, people get more information, experience with less explanation, with less theory. Uh, people notice that the proposals start to belong to each uh, to each participant in the sequel when they, uh, and it's easier to teach content like this than to explain or demonstrate it in a fishbowl, and then they do, they straightly do, and they learn by experiencing. And uh, they start to appreciate the feedback and the opportunity that uh, doing mistakes gives. So how you can learn from mistakes. If you have a feedback mom moment, then you can learn from it. Uh, and they start to grab the idea that a proposal can be built step by step in more than one time. You can, uh, you can start from asking feedback and then to evolve it by yourself or in a little group that, was, uh, that liked it. Uh, that like that the proposal was taken by the proposal and then bring it back to the group. So let's see, five minutes. Thank you, Jerry. So, question from Barbara. This, this in a training session, what proposal do you bring forth, 
prepared or from group needs? Uh, if I understand the question, yes, it is a very <laughs> relevant topic. How can we, how do we organize something that is not, a session that is not real on what I see that work is to keep it light. I mean, don't use uh, teams that are very hot for the group. If it's a group that's coming from the same community, same organization, but use very simple team because they get too taken emotionally by the, the, the team than by doing, uh, than trying something new. That, and that's the focus. They, I want them to try something new. Uh, a, a new way to, to, to reach out to a common agreement. And uh, then, yes, how to prepare this? It could be uh, not <laughs> a very, I would like to compare, I would like to, to speak with other trainers how they solve this. But what I, if I have to prepare the most, what I do is like uh, the most of the ground they have to work on, I prepare a driver coming from Sashaka C3.0. I, I find the, the most effective tool. So a common like uh, there is a first sentence that is uh, what's the reality now and the second sentence what is the desired reality we want to move to and also this I use it very simple and uh, and I find it very effective in the driver so you if you want to look for this and you want to use this uh, I find it very effective then Andrea Fore, did you try this with a group of people who don't belong to the same organization? I would assume it must be harder if they don't have common ground for making proposal. Yes, that's what I was speaking now. Uh, so what I'm trying to do in when there are people not coming from the same organization, so it's to be more general and to attach something of the on the place we are. So uh, in Biela last weekend we do a one day. So what we took it's like 20 minutes to have a tour in the in the area showing it then me and my friend antonio that was holding the training uh, built, already built the driver so uh, and then we worked on this so they got the place the driver and the practice and this is also important it takes time but when we come we have to come to the a common agreement that is very important in sociography to understand that it's not only the constant method that help us. It's also because we belong to a same organization, we have a common aim or a common driver. This is everything it's doing its job, it's playing its part. And this, every little part of this is very, very important. Is what I like to, and when uh, I, a lot of time I say sociography is simple, but it's very, Raffinata, I don't know, is very, uh, I don't know the, refined, thank you, Andrea. Uh, and it, it's really true because it looks simple, but it, you have a lot of little things that do their job and do a great job. From Jen, in this exercise, do you tell them that their concerns are value to the world group? Uh, if this come out, yes, but I will not suggest it. I will invite them to, to test it. Last things I will add because I have one minute. Uh, what I do, what, what I tell them uh, after, how can you use this, what we have learned? Uh, I like, to also, or I like uh, always to remember the experience of a friend of mine that made an MVC seminar and she was coming out very like empower they say yes i will go and and talk to my father and solve all the problem i have with him and it was a mess and the nbc trainer when she speak it after she, he said hey <laughs> take it lightly step by step so this is what i what i also tell the people what can you do with this experiment experiment it with yourself you can do it you can set the stage and you can find by yourself experiment in your family with your kids with your colleagues in little things organize a weekend or take a decision what you want to have for supper or for dinner or what you want to do a day or, or how you want to organize a, um, a party in simple thing and then build on this when you get the the experience and you know each steps you you can you can make it let's say harder you can make it uh, more complicated and so on but please step by step go on 
uh, any other question, I have one minute saying there, and but thank you very much. It was a bit strange to, to speak okay. without feedback, <laughs> but okay. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I give you a, I've given you ideas, and uh, if, you, if you want to know more, if you have feedback, if you want to, to give me feedback or get in touch with me, I will paste my email address there and talk more.